Yo, what's up? We are now in Rutskogen and uh, I'm sitting in a Porsche Taycan Turbo S. This is the first time I try it. So this is an event they have. And you hear uh, this. So we uh, they, we have like a guided tour now with uh, with the instructor in front. Whoa! And yeah, we just follow the Swedish instructor. He will talk over the radio. So, yeah, it's the first time I try uh, Porsche Taycan for us. Oh, it's not for us, turbo. I've done the force before. Not sure about my line here, but. Oh, that's a bit wet there. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, interesting. Um, just trying out the pot Taycan on the track. It's a little bit damp now. And sorry, guys, but you will hear the Swedish uh, guy talking now. now. We need. We have to. Yeah, we need the radio on. And then eventually we'll swap cars and they can try the 4S and the other ones. Okay, they're gonna show launch control. Okay, we're gonna try launch control now. Okay, okay. That was schnell. Skapar samma lucka i mellan bilarna och gör snyggt förra gången. Nu är vi mjuk acceleration ut ur svingen. Mer och mer och mer. Okay, one more lap with the Turbo S. Flat mm, Good brakes. This is fun. I can do this all day. And guess what? We have a Porsche um, trailer charger here. Ten, ten stalls with over two megawatt hour of battery. Okay, they're gonna change car. Okay. Okay, new launch. This is uh, tur turbo. 
launch control again, spot plus. Oh, it's still fast! Holy shit! Oh, brakes are great! Wow! I mean, okay, I brake a little bit early because I was always expecting to... Wait, am I supposed to go here? Yeah. Okay, so now on the track, turbo, slightly less power than uh, Turbo S, but still blistering fast, okay, you're supposed to break by the cone there. Yeah, excuse me, I'm not a race driver, I'm, uh, I'm a highway warrior. <laughs> I see the track is still a little bit damped. But this thing, Taycan is nice on the track, I have to say. Maybe I should make this, uh, you know, I shouldn't talk too much. I just, just make it an ASMR, Taycan ASMR. How about fake engine sound? Sport Plus. into the pit lane they change a little bit from the regular So there is also a second half where I'm supposed to drive the fossil cars, but I might skip that one. I might check out the trailer. Yeah, I'm more interested in the trailer than the fossil cars. You guys will, <gasps> what? You had the chance to t test uh, 911 GTRS or whatever. I don't know what they're called, all those fossil cars, but. Uh, nah. <laughs> I felt the gear change there. Is it changes gear around uh, 80 to 100 kilometers per hour? The rear, rear axle. Unfortunately, I cannot mount the camera in the back because th these cars don't have panorama roof. And also, we only have about 10, 15 minutes in each car before we swap again. So that's why I, it's just, I need to quickly take it out and put it in. Oh, I think my racing line that was bad. I'm not paying attention here. So I think you're supposed to go wider. I guess when I brake now, it, the, the Taycan has blending brakes, so when you brake, you you don't actually use the, the friction brake yet, you use regen first, and then the... Yeah, this is how I'm supposed to do it. Ah, oh, shit. I haven't been paying attention. 
that's a German license, by the way, German car. Uh, but I think, yeah, there's a little mix of some German and some Norwegian cars. Actually, I'm not, oh, maybe, oh, maybe. Oh, we go this way this time, okay. Oh, I think we're gonna swap driver now. I guess I'll try the 4S this time. Okay, and this is 4S launch, launch control. Okay, not as fast as the other ones. Okay, I'm later on the brakes this time. Uh, the draggy device <laughs> fell. Okay, now we wait for the rest of the group here. Forgot to put it in gear. <laughs> Shit. Noob on track. Oh, that guy seems to have the the nice Mission E rims. The car in front. That's a nice tyke and the white one. Oh, oh, slow down, slow down. So unfortunately we can't go like while it's just a group group tour, so it's just to get a feel of how the cars are. So we're not crazy tracking, you know. I had no idea how they're gonna do it all this. And I was thinking, hmm, maybe endurance test. Let's see if Taycan can withstand 10 laps around the Rutskogen uh, without any pause. Or let's try to do 30 launches, but no, nah, there's no room for it. It's, these kind of events tend to be a bit rigid. Like they have everything set up. There's no room for other creative stuff or whatever or more individual stuff it's just that they have this stuff here and you follow it and then you're done so i think soon enough i will check out the trailer instead the charging trailer oh oh i think i did a bad uh, one there i don't know if this one has four wheel steering or not maybe i should stop talking so you guys can hear the wonderful fake engine sound I think that was a better line. I had to follow the instructor. See how he drives? He's a Swedish rally driver. Swedes and Finns, they are awesome drivers. Oh, this battery is 30 degrees Celsius now, so it's been driving a little bit. I, I noticed on the first car and the Turbo S we had, it was 16 degrees Celsius. So as these cars drive, they heat up. Well, that's fast. That is schnell. Going from... Huh? I mean, I assume all these have the same temperature when they started, which means 16 degrees. Do they heat up that fast? Or did this car... Drive before it came here, or no? They shouldn't because these are these are event cars, so you you're supposed to just use them here. But okay, 30 degrees Celsius in the pack, 81 percent left. Okay, this one is not as punchy as the Turbo and the Turbo S. I feel like even with the two-speed gearbox. And the 800 volt system. I mean, it's a heavy car after all. And I don't know how much heavier the Turbo and the Turbo S is, what kind of components they have that this one doesn't have. But I mean, if I had a chance, I would weigh them on a scale and check
know, he has blinkers. Where did he get that from? Oh, now I'm supposed to cycle to the last car. Yeah, that means I've tried all of them. Okay, last launch. This is 4S. Again. Ooh. Great. So this one doesn't have the four wheel steering. All the three other ones I tried in the front there, they have four wheel steering. Yes, the car in front is Turbo S. <laughs> Can't touch it. Like, is it slipping? Do I feel like it's slipping a little bit easier? Or is it just me? But I have to say, these Porsches are fun to drive around the track. They're made for it. And why is the Taycan, why is that, that one in front here and it doesn't have the, the lights on? Hmm. Is this auto? Automatic lights? Because the other ones have on. Actually, on the second thought, I think I'm not going to drive the fossil cars because they put me on the green team. The green teams are supposed to drive uh, electric and I guess the, the, the what they call it the blue team. Should be the black team, the other team. They drive the fossils, so maybe I don't have to drive the fossils. Yeah, can I make a little for the Yeah, I'll Flat out, VOT. Damn, that Turbo S is just gone. Mm, still nice brake, even on this one. See, I actually feel. You think a long time? Okay, uh, I don't know if this is just just a coincidence, but I feel like the, the steering is not that sharp in this car compared to all the three other ones I tried with four-wheel steering. Could just be placebo, but I feel slow now, I feel slow, yeah, okay. Just, uh... Look, 
Mitt liv är igenom Bitlin och så gör vi ett cooling down. Cooling down. Cooling? Sorry for the noise. What? Are we having a cool down lap? Because I see the battery temperature now is 30, 35 degrees Celsius. 35 degrees Celsius, 72%. These cars started with 100% or 98%. So it means after a little bit now, we're down to set around 70% still on charge. I want to check the consumption, by the way. I haven't checked consumption numbers here. Where is all this stuff? I don't have too much time to... Oh, okay. Oh, they have a cool down lap now with their fossils. Okay, let me see. Trip. Uh, personal trip. Let me just check here. Uh, consumption? Are you kidding me? I see the trip meter here. It says. Okay, I can't show you guys right now, but uh, it says drive time one hour twenty five minutes. That sounds correct. A distance 30.6 kilometers, that also sounds correct. Consumption 774 watt hour per kilometer. 774, and this is just the, the 4S. Can you imagine the, four, the Turbo S in front of us? What the frunk? 700, okay, it dropped a little bit now. It's 763. What up, Ah, just 763. Yeah, that's nothing. That's even more than Optimus Prime pulling a trailer. So I can imagine that you burn through lots of juice if you drive hard. And you see, we didn't drive that hard even. <laughs> this was not Schnell Fahren 9. I wonder if we can hit 1000 watt up per kilometer, which actually is one kilowatt hour per kilometer <laughs> damn <laughs> no wonder why they have that trailer here to charge up the, this thing <sighs> okay well but it's great fun nonetheless non the the thing yeah can't speak okay yeah the consumption drops now because we're driving like like yeah yeah now it's 750 and dropping. Of course, and using regen also. Ja, grabbar. Vi leder in mot vår parkeringsplats. Och sänker farten lite grann. Så att vi kan avsluta med nästan inte röra toppen. Okej. Se, jag undrar om vi kan stoppa nu. I can show you guys. I can show you guys the trip meter afterwards. Well, I guess that those launches also did take some juice <laughs> when I think about it. <laughs> but you know, these are not the 225 narrow tires. No, no, no. These are, I don't know, the rare is probably a 305 or something sticky tires they stick well that's good though why is it not focusing jesus there <laughs> all right yeah okay now we can see the cars from outside so this is the 4s without four wheel steering oh let me check the let's check the tires 305 30 21 uh, this is P0, this is Pirelli. Yeah, Pirelli C P0 on the back. Front uh, is 265, 35, 21. And then the, the, the Turbo S, the badass. Oh, is that carbon fiber? Holy guacamole. Oh, this has, oh, this has the Mission E rims. 
I bet they use their PC row also. Uh, let me check here. It's the same dimension. 305, 30, 21. Yeah. So the same, just different uh, rims. You see, these are the not so funky rims and also not so funky brakes. This one has the top of the crop rim and brakes. Is this the, the ceramic? Seems like the ceramic. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is ceramic. Look at that caliper. <laughs> I also hear a little bit of cooling going on here. Yeah, so these cars, you know, I actually believe that the battery when we started, it was at 16 degrees Celsius, and now they are at 32, 33. After not that much hefty driving, but I gotta say, this one is my favorite. White, oh, look at this. Oh, nice, I like these Mission E rims. The only problem is that you can't get them in smaller dimension. So it means that if you want this, you need, you need to have big 21 inch. Check here, there is really not that much gap. And maybe you can fit 20 inch. But yeah, it's just, see, see there, it says Brembo SGL Carbon. And ceramic brakes. <laughs> so, wow. I like this one. And then the green, the green one here, the green hell, Titan 4S with, oh, with matching rims also. Hmm, nice. <laughs> I'm sure the blue, the, the, sorry, the, sure the green one. And you see, this is here, by the way, you see, this is with the charge port, the, the, the electric charge port. I don't know if it reacts now. Well, actually, it reacts. Yeah. So this is with the with the electric charge port, but then this one here is with a manual charge port. See the difference? Actually, Norwegians, Norwegian. Uh, okay. The next next stuff in the event, but Norwegians they recommend to not get the electric charge port because it could be troublesome in winter. And the the first the instructor car is is a Taycan Turbo. With also Mission E rims. Mm. I gotta say, I love those Mission E rims. Oh, white, bright brake calibers. You can get brake calibers in the same color as the car. <laughs> okay, but anyway, now you guys have seen it. Both exterior and interior. So, yeah. I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.